Hi guys, it's Kobe here. Welcome to Pixel Affair. And in today's video, we are going to talk about the multi shader in Redshift and also in the Cinema 4D standard and physical renderer. We are going to see how we will apply multiple textures to our clones using one material. Right? So, in this scenario, this is a tutorial I did on Afcon, and I have the full tutorial, tutorial here where I actually modeled the Afcon trophy rendered. And at the back here, you can see we had the flags of the various African countries there. And all this was applied using just one material. So if I come into this particular scene and I break open the materials, you can see we have the flags. And this particular material contains all the flags of um, the countries that participated in the AFCON tournament. And you can see we have multiple clones here, but all of them have different flags. Meanwhile, we are using just one material right and also in this scenario i have this magazine like flipping book right and you can see it has several different um, each and every page has its own image applied to it meanwhile if i come to the material manager you can see we have only one material and it's applying all these various materials to our uh, magazine pages right so let's see how we do this and let's actually get into it i'll start with using the redshift style and after that we will do this now for the standard and the physical renderer one so let's actually go back into our first scene. And now let me actually open our Redshift renderer. So I'll bring in the renderer. And now you can see we have the renderer. If I hit play, you can see it starts rendering. Everything is fine. But let's actually go ahead and do it from scratch. So this is, these are my flags. You can see we have a clone here. And you can see in there we have just one um, extrude object. And it's cloned severally. It's cloned, um, I think, 24 times. You can see 6 by 4, which is 24 times. And now we are going to apply our material to it. So let's go ahead and, and create it from scratch. Right. So I'm going to create, go to create Redshift materials. And I'll bring in, create my Redshift material. I'll go ahead and delete the one we have on the flag. I'll delete it. And now you can see we don't have any um, anything showing on our various clones. I double click on the material and come into our material um, um, node editor, right? And I'll look for multi shader. Immediately I type in the multi, you can see we have a multi shader in here. So I'll drag and drop it in here. And now you can see in our multi shader, we have our default shader. And down here you can see we have extra shader. So we can go ahead and add the number of shaders that we want to add in here, right? Can clear them as well. But one thing that the multi shader helps us to do is that if we have a lot of um, uh, um, materials or uh, textures prepared already in a folder, we can actually go ahead and select the whole folder and we'll go ahead and do that. So if I say add from folder and I click add from folder, you can see it opens our explorer, our browser for us to look for our folder. So in here, I'll come down. You can see I have my textures and now I have flags. So if I choose the flag folder and I say okay, you can see automatically import all the folders, uh, all the flags that are in the folder. And there are 23 flags. It's supposed to be 24, but I missed one. So now all I have to do is to click this output and break, drag and drop it. I wanted to put into the color, a diffuse channel. So I'll put it in the diffuse color. And now I'm basically literally done. All I have to do is to drag and drop it on our flags. And now you can see it's applying to our um, clones, right? But it's applying just the first material. Let me actually apply it to our emission. So I come to overall emission color so, so that it will be a little bit brighter. It can emit more colors. And you can see it's applying just the first shader so we have to go into a multi shader right and the source is set to index we have to change it from index to MoGraph id and now you can see it's giving all our um clones individual material it's as simple as that it's as simple as that if you want to go ahead and add you can still come in here if you probably want to add more we can still come in here um where is it and add another texture if you want and come in here to bring in our own texture. Maybe if you don't have it in the folder, you can now click it and come and add whatever texture we want to add to um, it again. 
right? Can remove it as well. So that's basically how it works in Redshift. So this is how I basically did it. I actually come into my emission overall color and I'll add a bit of uh, emission. And this is how I did it in the Afcon tutorial I did initially. And let's see how we'll do the same thing, um, like similar setup. But in this case, I'm going to use this particular um, scene where we have this particular um, magazine cover like thing. And you are going to use the normal Cinema 4D standard renderer. You are not going to use the Redshift or RM Cinema 4D material. You are not going to use the Redshift material. So let me actually close this. And now let's delete this particular material tag. So I'll come in here and I'll create material, default material. And it's also as simple as that. All I'll have to do is double click on the material and come to our material editor. And in the texture, you can see we have texture here. You click drop down on this menu and you can see we have more graph. And in the more graph, we have multi shader. So all we have to do is to choose our multi shader. Click on this white thumbnail here. You can see we have various, um, it's created these two shaders for us. You can go ahead and similarly apply, add all the normal of, um, shaders you want to add. You can clear it as well. And the same thing, we can apply it from folder. So if I say add from folder, so I click on add from folder, you can see it brings us here again. And in this case, I'm not going to choose the flags. I'm going to choose the one, this folder called mag, and I hit OK. And I said, I'll say no, and then you can see it's brought in all um, the materials in our folder. So now I'll click, drag, drag and uh, drop the material on our clones, and you can see same way it's applying it to our like magazine, but then it's applying just the last one, right? So the same way we have to change it. This in this case it's using the color brightness. So for instance, if we we had different shades of our color. It can actually use to control this particular, um, how it should apply to it. For, for instance, we use clone to apply random colors to it. You can use the color brightness to control it. But in this case, we want to use the index. So index ratio, and now you can see, we have a magazine created with different pages and stuff. This is very, very useful and very, very helpful when you are working with a lot of clones and material um, objects in your scene and you want to use one simple material. Mind you, this don't necessarily have to always be textured. So you can go ahead and also apply something like colors to it. So if for instance, I want to add colors to this particular part from the textures, I can actually come in here and say add, right? And I'll come down here and you can see it has given us another um, texture uh, slot. I can change, instead of applying for that, I can change it to color. And I'll say, um, I'll make the color, let's say, yellow, right? Or maybe pink will be fine for now. Then I'll move it, you see? It's the last, but because we have only 14 um, clones and we have 14 textures, the 15 would, one would be applied. But one thing I didn't talk about is, what if, like, let's say, I want to rearrange the way the materials have been applied? You see, that this, this is the first one, second one, but if I want this one to move upwards, it's as simple as, just clicking on this particular um, button here, just click up and you can see it moves it. Um, um, oh, I mean, I, was, I click this one particular, so it moves this one up. If I want this one up, I'll click on this and it will go up as well like that. So if I want this one to go up, I'll just click on this and you go up. I want this one to go up, same way, I'll click on this and you go up. So basically, that's how you actually apply. You click up. If you want it to go down, you can simply click on this and it come down. And the same thing applies. So if we want the red to show somewhere in here, you can actually click up and you see it starts coming up. Let's click up again. Let's click up till we see it somewhere in our uh, um scene another app uh app again. I want us to click it up till we see it uh in our scene. Let's see if we find it somewhere. Uh, I hope that's the one applied, okay. Uh, okay, we have more to do. Uh, you can see now it's beginning to show. So now, our red is beginning to show. So basically, um, this is how you want to you want to rearrange your stuff. You can make it go down, and you can simply also go ahead and remove it as well. Just click on remove, 
and it's also removed so you can actually use it to play around now in this particular scenario you can see what's happening is that when i applied it to um all the um pages it's applying to one full page but in magazines you can see we have the front and the back and it's all of them is being applied to both the front and the back so for instance if you see this particular one you can see it in the front the same thing and at the back too is the same thing so how do we apply it to just let's say the front alone all you have to do is to select our material tag and you come into attribute manager you can see you have the side you can choose front and you can see it affects only the front part of our um, magazine only the front part so now if you want to apply something else for the back now we can separate our back materials and do the same thing so let me go ahead and duplicate this one hit control and drag it to duplicate it double to uh, double click to open it and i'll come in here i'll go ahead and clear everything right and now let's add a different set of uh, materials so i'll add and you are going to use just the flags one so i'll select the flags folder and i'll say okay i'll say i'll hit no so now we've actually bringing our flags then i'll go ahead and apply it on the clone again so now you can see it will write this particular one but now when you select the tag again and come and it's set to both so you're applying to both the uh, front and back but if you choose the back now you can see applying to only the back so now we have different for the back and different for the front so basically if you are applying different um materials for the back and front this is how you would do something like this i hope you learned something useful in this tutorial and i'll you always i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching